Okay, this is me. Hello. I'm trying to make an explanatory video. My first one. First of all, I want you to take a look at those. I have those uh, carrying boxes for my Phantoms. This is the Phantom 2, the new one. Well, here, for example, is one of those examples. We have those nice uh, suitcases to carry our Phantom, but anything putting underneath to add to the height or, or size of the bottom will not fit anymore. Same for the Phantom 1, this one, uh, with all my stuff in it. Uh, if I add anything, I had to cut for the new door a little bit more here. I cut this opening a bit larger, but other than that, I'm, I'm already lucky the, uh, the new plates fit in while it's on mounted, uh, while it's together. Well, I do have three phantoms and only two suitcases and I did not want to spend any more money on another suitcase because really more than two I will not be traveling with. But for storage I came up with this little ingenious way of protecting my phantom and uh, well here I cut from the same foam I use for other things the corners out to protect it it will not slide you can almost hold it upside down for example to close it up I use just a piece of foam insulation cut for the corners the and that is how it closes up I made some holes for the for the nuts and it goes in and out very easily and completely without problems so I it costs nothing down to nothing and you can fit it to your size what you have if you add anything to it Phantoms. this is the phantom 2 the new one this is the phantom 1 uh, already uh, second generation this is the original the old one I have a few ideas what I did because the problem with me was fitting the Phantom into the case and having the camera sticking out in the bottom too much. So what I came up with is two systems. For example, this here, a piece of foam, any foam. Uh, you can use white foam, uh, normal foam carton, or this one is a bit harder foam. I think my TV came in it. I cut it into size. I put, I made with the knife cut for the for the original uh, thing rubber bands around some around some sh uh, shish kebab sticks dollarama i bought that for a dollar for a whole bunch and i can go anywhere and have a protective casing which includes also a, a floating device in case a problem arrives here i am this is it it is perfect it holds very strong if you use it for if you use it for a floater you might choose in case you fly a lot over water you maybe choose some uh, styrofoam white styrofoam and do the same thing besides it would fit easier to your color of the phantom plus you can do some really fancy uh, grading on the side make it look nice this is sort of an easy thing takes a minute to make cost nothing after I knew I had the right size I added with a glue gun a, a tap a glue on the side so it stays more permanent you finished you want to pack your stuff it goes away as easy as it came there you go and you on the road and this one goes in the side bag and you can go again on the same phantom here I want you to see I did a few things I use basic gear on this one, no more screws in. I use just um, Velcro for my my needs. Uh, I do ha add a little here. You see Velcro. I add a safety Velcro tape in case it ever comes loose. It will not fall. It will still hold in place so you can come home and save it. Uh, I put Velcro on different spots here. If I want to save it really safely, I use this turn here, click it on here. And it will never fall but you can replace or exchange equipment on the spot so easily it's almost ridiculous uh, the same thing I'm with the higher this one the weight of what I showed you here 
if you want to see it it's I think 20 grams we're talking 20 grams 22 grams now uh, I made something else here which runs about in the 40 grams yeah this is a 49 48 49 grams I use the PCP pipe anywhere at any uh, hardware store I bought the pipe in the in the plumber plumbing section I I took a a replacement thing with me to check that I really bought the right size while I was there because those pipes come in two three sizes I wanted to make sure it does fit in here so I took that with me just to have a size with it if you forget you might buy a wrong size the pipe it's for a dollar fifty you get and for a meter and a half cost about two three dollars I bought two I didn't know I only needed one I never made a mistake with it so it worked very easily what I did to cut it, once I had the pipe and I figured out an area where I want to stop, I went in with this knife and I just get along to cut the pipe on both sides and made something. I, each one has a thing. This one is at the back to the left. Back to the left there would be, let me show you this one. I will put up one and then back to the right back to the left this means this is a front because we have different attachments the front left would be this one you take it you clip it in the velcro around it to hold it and it's there same here that is the front right take it clip it in each one I have cut basically it, it may not be the same as the other so you have to cut each leg as you go along. Takes no time to, to put this up on the spot if you're traveling. This would be the right back. And especially with the compass, you need a special right back. This has to be cut a little bit special. As you can see, it has to fit just the right way. <coughs> and the right front at uh, the back back front I'm sorry a bit excited to show my stuff off uh, this is it I, I cut first the PCP pipe and then I decided how high I want it I cut off once it was in place I made sure they all cut at the same spot I bought for a dollar at Dollarama five uh, ten or so of those uh, foam balls they for hobby working on stuff and this is another situation where it really you got lots of space no weight or hardly any weight and you can take it off and on in an instant in a flash it's done so quickly now uh, you will see this is my original one year old uh, helicopter which came originally with the of course with the smaller plates I have now found a plate that you can use for this because you don't forget those self tightening blades come with screws already organized for left hand thread and right hand thread doesn't really work with the old one because you only have right hand thread so what I needed was a, a blade with in the new shape, give you the same push, the same power as the old one, the same distance, nine, nine inches wide, but in the old style with the DJI slot. And then I replaced the metal, metal screws for the plastic screws. They are much less weight, I save another seven, eight gram. I found it at Infinity Hoppy. If you write on, on your search engine Infinity Hobby, you will get uh, uh, two, three, four, five, maybe different uh, Infinity Hobby or whatever answers. Choose the one written in Chinese, click on it. It will open the, the home page of this Chinese company. To get the English page, you will now look on the top. You will see four different little flags 
The second flag from the left is the British flag. If you click on the British flag, it will change into English and you off onto the races. Look for propellers, look for the DJI propellers. And this one is the size of nine, nine inch by four and then 4.3, the, the angle of, of the plate. And they have this for a very reasonable price. This one, uh, for two of them, it's nine, $9 American, something, $9, $10 American. I ordered two sets, and with delivery, it cost me, I think, $40, $42. That was like $10, $15 delivery from China, of course. Funny thing is, it only took 12 days, and it was here. I expected much longer. Well, that is one thing. I want to give you a little hint by those are things you can do yourself, save your money, and you don't have to spend time. Now, with this making things higher, I bought, of course, the, the board system also from Infinity Hobby. They have some great system for about 20 bucks. You can buy this. It sets out your feet a bit further, so this all comes out wider. But again, first of all, this is very heavy. It is almost 60 grams. And it works beautifully, but it does not fit in any of the cases anymore, except my milk case. That was the way I used it for a while. So I decided to stick with my homemade stuff, have this just in case. Now, this is a good tip. Those carbon, fiber, carbon plates, for that price, you will not get them often. And it's the only place I found those type of plates made in the old Phantom style. And yeah, I tell you, I flew it the first day I flew it. It improved my flight time by at least two minutes, maybe almost three minutes. And that was at minus 11 degrees outside and uh, very, very windy conditions. So it really had to work hard. I had to fight continuously to keep it, keep it near me. All right, this is one thing. Now I have one more little hint on everybody. You know that they always warn us about magnetic fields and be careful with your magnetic. If you drive in the car, don't put your phantom too close to your speakers. Well, there is one thing that I, I overlooked at first. I finally figured out why sometimes my compass had to be reset and why it goes off so easily. I am working on the table and I have a phone here and I have my handphone here. And they are all working also. If I use it, I can use it as a speakerphone which is great, but I kept forgetting that every speakerphone basically has a strong magnet in there to make the speaker work. Who knew? I mean, I sometimes work to, to con my telephone right beside the feet of the, of the Phantom, and uh, there are some of them which don't have the, the magnets, most likely the ones who don't work like speakerphone, but even this one has a bit less strong, but it still has a magnet. So um, be careful. Watch it. Watch it. it. It might explain some of your mishaps with your with your drone, if if anything ever. Look, if the camera. Well, thing. I mean, uh, common sense. First of all, I have now my Phantom for one year. I have not had an accident till about a few few weeks ago. But then I flew in very cold weather. When I tried to open the original Phantom. Three of the ends worked beautifully. The last one, one of the screws, I either was too rushing it, I sort of lost the thread of the screw. I could not open that damn thing. I was getting cray in the eye. So I finally went to a, a hardware store and I told them my problem and they have some some tools that you use for the for a electric drill that you go in and you make a new thread into the make a new thread by Mastercraft micro grab it it's a bolt extractor you make a new thread and then at the same point when you re reverse the power it pulls that with the one thread out it worked like a charm I got this screw out of there of course don't ever use the same screw again it's just to get rid of the bad screw and use a new one afterwards but I really was sweating blood and tears till I came up with this solution. It was a bit expensive, about $32 I paid for this, but I have it forever. And if it happens again, I will not sweat it. So that really helped me. Well, look, this was one time my little explanation of of something. Maybe you like it. If, if yes, 
Well, it'd be nice if you let me know. If it if it helped you, if it doesn't help you, well, so be it. My ideas about this extending cost almost nothing. They both cost under three, four dollars to make. It's fun to do. Uh, the Velcro tape I buy at the Dollarama. Everything I bought is from Dollarama, so it's really very, very reasonable. Have fun flying, and I hope the summer comes so we can uh, enjoy ourselves again. Bye.